Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another delicious day in my kitchen. What are we making? Where are we going? Guys, I want to go to Tuscany today. Let's go to Tuscany. Doesn't that sound great? And the, and the sun, and the climate, and the food. The food is, is just to die for. It's so divine. And there's a great recipe. There's a great dish that I've had over there many times. Right around this time of the year, you get into that September, October, start to get into that fall season, and you know, you got those fruits and and those vegetables, and you want to mix them with all the other delicious ingredients from Italy. So that's what we're going to make today. Today what we're going to make is a Tuscan broccoli ricotta cheese pie. Boy, doesn't that sound great? And this is simple, and it's fast, and it's easy, and it's really a lot of fun to make. And I'll tell you, one of the things I love about this, it's got all these different flavors in there, so you get the aroma when you bake this. It just fills your kitchen with, with a delicious, a delicious aroma. Uh, that uh, it, it certainly gets your stomach going. There's no doubt about it. All right, so let's go over ingredients. Let's start having some fun. Obviously, the main staple here, you got your two big ingredients. One's going to be broccoli. You're going to want about a pound of broccoli. We're going to cut this up a little bit. I'll show you what I mean, but we want to leave it in its intact state. We want to have some, some chunks of broccoli in there to give you something to bite. So we got about a pound of broccoli, give or take. We're going to go about a half a pound of ricotta cheese. Now listen, I'm going to tell you, don't skimp on it. Get a really good quality ricotta cheese. Uh, if you go to your Mediterranean stores, you'll get something really good. I know Trader Joe's, their whole milk ricotta cheese is absolutely delicious. So whatever you're going to do, you're going to use about eight ounces, about a half of a pound, eight ounces of whole milk ricotta cheese. Now we're going to need some other cheese, right? So what are we going to use? We're going to use Parmesan Reggiano. Oh, doesn't that sound great? Listen, some of this I used for a recipe. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of it I actually used and I ate it because it was really, really good before shooting today. So here we're going to use about four ounces. We're going to use a little bit as we mix it and then some to top it off, which will give you that that delicious savory because it's salty and it's got a little bit of an extra bite to it. It'll give you a browning and a nice crunch. Next, we're gonna need some garlic. So we're gonna use about two cloves of garlic. Oh, garlic is so delicious in Italian cooking and it's so, uh, you know, I always use those words like earth or sun or water or fire and you know, it's, it's definitely earthy and it just adds that very grounded basic flavor of, uh, of Italian cooking. We're gonna add some lemon. Now what we're gonna do here is just a little Italian lemon zest. Why zest? The oil of the lemon is just filled with such a delicate flavor. So it just gives you that nice soft lemon flavor in the background. And I love it that you add that sunshine. What I love about lemon, a lot of these dishes, because it goes so great with ricotta cheese, is it brightens the uh, it brightens up your taste buds, which is great. Next, we're going to add some almonds. Here I've got about a third of a cup of whole almonds. They're going to be great. We're going to chop those up, and we're going to sprinkle that on the top. You don't even need to roast it, because when you cook it, it'll actually roast, because it's going to be on the surface, surface of our pie, which will be nice. Next, we're going to add a little nutmeg. Nutmeg, one of my, anybody who watches my videos, oh gosh, nutmeg is just so delicious. Nutmeg goes phenomenal with this right here. So whether it's savory, which today is a savory dish, or you do something dolce, which is a sweet dish, nutmeg is key. So we're just going to use, I would say, a breath, a sprinkle. Not so that it's overpowering, because there's a lot of flavor in there, but it adds that, that beautiful flavor of spice, of earth, of Mediterranean, almost a little exotic, a little exotic flavor to it. And, and it goes so phenomenally well with, uh, with uh, cheeses. Okay, a couple more things here we want to go with. One, we want some fresh ground pepper. That'll be great, and we're gonna use a sprinkle of that, probably a quarter to a half a teaspoon at tops. We're gonna to use some salt here. I always like that uh, either pink Himalayan because it's sexy, or we're gonna use some flaky Sicilian sea salt, which is what we got today. Uh, that's sexy too, but it's sexy in a different way. All right, so we've got some salt. Next, we're gonna add some fire. Mm, we're gonna add some kick. A little cooking Italian with Joe. So we've got some red pepper flakes in here. I've got a heavy pinch. So maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm not going to get the perfume of that because my nasal sinuses are going to go on fire. But that's going to be cooked in when I saute that broccoli. Oh, and that's going to bring those oils of the heat out. And then you mix that with everything. Mm, this is going to be good stuff. All right, now it's a pie, right? You're going to need some pie dough. So I've got some pie dough here that I made 
a few hours ago, and this is great. So you're going to need one side. We're not going to put a top on it. So you're going to need one sided recipe for pie dough. Now listen, where can you go? You guys can get store bought if you want. You can get pre-made if you want. That's all good. Make it easy for life for you and your family. You can also go right on my channel, Cooking Italian Joe Pie Crust. I got a great pie crust recipe. That's for double sided. So just split it in half. Uh, you can use that. If you've got a go-to favorite in your family, that's good too. Just remember, keep it cold. I just pulled that out of the refrigerator because what we want is a lot of butter and we want flaky. We want to have a flaky pie dough. Last but not least, you're going to need some extra virgin Italian olive oil. That's going to give it some authenticity and some deliciousness. Where would I go? Where, what would I do? I know. Hey, guys, anybody new to our channel, we own a farm in Italy. It's in Puglia, Italy. Just above the hill, there's a little bump, a little village called Vico del Gargano. We actually co-op with a whole group of olive grows in that area to bring us some of the best extra virgin Italian olive oil, authentic Italian olive oil you're ever going to have. I named the company after my two boys, Vito and Joe. That's the Borio family picture right there in Italy back in the 1950s. Kind of cool. Um, listen, this is grassy, earthy, peppery. It's just delicious. Uh, I think of taking a, a trip to Italy right in a bottle every time I think it. So where can you get it? I know that's what you're thinking. Click the link above or below. Go to my Facebook page. Go to my uh, webpage, Cooking Italian with Joe. Click buy it now. We'll love to drop ship you a few bottles of olive oil right to your front doorstep. All right, so what do you say? Let's get going. Let's get cooking. Let's start having some fun. First thing I want to do, guys, I want to get this broccoli prepped up. So again, I want to keep some of it in a good shape. I just don't want a huge chunk, obviously. So we're going to cut some of the broccoli down. That's a pretty good piece there. It's a little big. So I want to cut that in half. Because that, when it cooks down, would be about a bite size, and that's what we're looking for. So most of these I cut. I like to cut them at a little diagonal, give it a little extra shape, a little bit more surface area. Now this one's a bunch of them, so I'm just going to cut this down maybe in a third. Now guys, in order to prep the broccoli, we want to blanch it for by about 10 minutes. So I've got some water that's right on the verge of boiling here. I'm going to salt it up, and I'm going to put that broccoli in there, like I said, to blanch it to start the cooking process. I'm gonna throw about a half a teaspoon of salt in there, and now I'm gonna blanch that broccoli. Now, while the broccoli is being blanched, we wanna get the garlic, pepperoncino, and olive oil going, because we want those oil, we want that oil to infuse all that delicious flavor. So simple, grab a couple cloves of your garlic. I'm gonna grab three, because this one's big, and then these two will make up that side. I'm gonna cut that end off first, just give everything a little bit of a mush. Now, guys, with my pan, some Vito and Joe's extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna put about two to three tablespoons in there. I wanna put this on a low heat because I don't wanna fry anything. Now guys, I'm gonna take my garlic press with those three cloves of garlic. Now I'm gonna take my red pepper flake. And what we're looking for is we want the garlic to cook down. That'll get it nutty in flavor and just delicious. And I want the oils from the pepperoncino. I want the oils from that red pepper flake to become part of the oil and the flavors of the garlic. Oh, that's good. And just watch it again, because we don't want to fry this. Guys, it's been about 10 minutes and our broccoli is right where I want it. See how the water starts to get nice and green? When the water starts getting real green like that, you know you're done. So that's beautiful. So now what I want to do is I want to put some cool water in this just for a minute to stop the cooking process. And I want to mix it with my cheese. It's been about five minutes, six minutes. This is done. This is exactly where I want it. So I'm going to pull this off the heat. Guys, my broccoli's done and strained. I'm going to take my ricotta cheese. I'm going to pop it right in there. I'm going to take my nutmeg now, guys, with a, with a microplaner, and I'm going to just get a little bit of flavor on there. So I'm looking for about an eighth of a teaspoon tops. Same thing with my microplaner now. I'm going to grab my lemon, and I want the zest of the lemon. And this goes so great with the broccoli, and it goes so well with the ricotta cheese. And again, it just brightens things up. You're going to see that a lot in Tuscany, Amalfi, they use lemons in everything. They're so plentiful. I'm gonna put a pinch of salt because the ricotta cheese already has salt and my broccoli already has some salt. Now I'm gonna take some black ground pepper and again, I'm gonna use about a quarter teaspoon. And then last, I'm gonna take some of my Parmesan cheese. So again, I'm gonna do about four ounces total. But so in here, a couple of tablespoons for sure. And then very gently, because I don't wanna break up my broccoli, real gently, I'm gonna give it a stir. And that is just flavor packed right there. That is exactly what I want. Last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add our oil with our garlic and pepperoncino, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna let that cool first before I put it in, and then just put a little bit in at a time, and then gently give it a stir into your cheese. And make sure you get all those bits. Now again, I'm gonna give this a nice stir. Guys, our broccoli cheese mixture is ready to go. So tip here, I wanna set that aside. So I want all those flavors to marry over the next 10 or 15 minutes while I get my pie crust going. 
Couple other tips to make this come out absolutely delicious. Right down, I know you're looking right there, down on the bottom corner of your screen, there's a subscribe button, right? There's a thumbs up and a notification bell. So when you subscribe to the channel, you know what it does? It makes you part of the family and it means the world to me. And when you hit that thumbs up and that notification bell, boy, it shares our video with other people looking for Italian recipes. And that notification bell lets you know, hey, any recipes, any new trips, anything going on with our blog, it'll come right to your notification box. Guys, let's work on our pie crust. So I got my pie crust here, I got my pie dish. I happen to like the clear dish because I like to be able to see everything. I'm gonna take my pie crust or pie dough. I'm gonna go ahead and just dust the surface with a little extra flour. I'm gonna take one of my rolling pins. I like these French rolling pins because they're a little thicker on the inside and it makes it easier so you don't get a big thick center. This thing is just brilliant. I truly believe it was invented by a guy in Italy and he moved to France because it's just too good of an idea for the French to come up with. I'm just kidding, don't get mad out there. Kind of, I'm kind of kidding. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this right out. Just take your pie crust, make sure you're right at the right size, which I am. I'm gonna take my rolling pin, real simple. I'm gonna use one of my baker's knives, baker scrapers. Beautiful, okay, now I've got my pie dish. And don't worry about anything, because we can fix anything. Beautiful, perfect. But now you're gonna just position it in there. Well, now what you wanna do, is you want to start, you just want to make a nice edge around the side. And then once you get it done, I like to just decorate the edge a little. So I'm going to take my thumb and finger and I'm going to push it together just like that, about every inch or so. Guys, that's absolutely perfect. That's just what I want. Now guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my broccoli mixture, go ahead and pour it right inside the pie and spread it out nice and even. Next guys, I want to top the pie off with some almonds. So all I want to do here is just do a little bit of a chop on the almonds. So I don't want them a real fine chop. After I chop my almonds, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle them evenly right on the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my, my Parmesan cheese. And remember I said I want to do about two to three ounces on the top here just before we bake it. So give it a good even sprinkle. And this is just a classic way to finish a savory dish for sure. Guys, our pie is looking absolutely perfect. Now I want that oven preheated, preheated, uh, probably when you start rolling out the dough, preheated to 350 degrees. And we're gonna pop this in for about 20 to 25 minutes. We want a nice browning of the crust obviously, but we want some browning on the top. Essentially everything's cooked, but what'll happen is the ricotta cheese and the broccoli along with all the other ingredients will marry in flavors and it'll start to become a solid, which will be great. I'm also gonna use my Tuscan broccoli ricotta cheese burn prevention unit here. That was tough to say. And I'm gonna set it for 20 just to be safe and we'll check it at 20 minutes. I'm gonna put it in the middle rack and I'll talk to you guys in 20 minutes. Hey guys, it took about 30, 35 minutes just to get perfect, but that was it right there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Here, let me zoom you in. Is that beautiful or what guys, gorgeous? And what's really nice here is the aroma. You can't just grab it on that camera. I wish I could give it right to you right there. All right, so what do you say? I had to let it cool here for a few minutes. Let's cut this puppy into a nice beautiful piece and give it a taste. All right, so my favorite time. I, I'm honestly, I wish I could give it to you guys, man. Taste of vision, smell of vision. It's just gorgeous. That aroma is just delicious. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready for it? It's still pretty warm. I love the texture of the almond. You get the almond crunch and the, the crunch of the Parmesan cheese, the Parmesan Reggiano right away. And then you get that salt. And then immediately as you're biting into it, you get no texture. And then the ricotta cheese, which is just delicious. I can get a little bit of that heat right now. The almond, as you chew it, it just goes so delicious with the ricotta cheese. And then as it sets in your mouth, you get more and more of that broccoli. I love the broccoli because it's got a little bit of a crunch to it. It's got a little bit of a body to it. Mmm, but it's good. And then the crust is just perfect. You know, it's a little bit softer on the bottom. And you get that nice texture on the top and the top edge, which is great, which I'm going to go for right there. And I love that, you know, the almonds. The almonds just make it with texture. Mmm. The oh, crust is perfect. Now you're getting the garlic, the olive oil, the heat from the pepperoncino. You know, a little hint of the nutmeg. Oh, I mean, it's just a, it's just textures and flavors with cream and broccoli. That is a delicious dish. Certainly something you're gonna keep on your family recipe booklet, no doubt, for years to come. Guys, thanks so much for joining me, taking a trip 
to Tuscany today. Remember, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you visit our website on Cooking Italian with Joe or our Facebook page. Grab yourself a few bottles of Vito and Joe's Extra Virgin Italian Olive Oil. Love to drop ship you a few bottles right to your front doorstep. Certainly taking a trip to Italy right in a bottle. And guys, my last and certainly my most important tip, make sure once a month, a couple times a month, get around the table with your family, you know what? And celebrate your heritage, whatever that may be. And even more importantly, you guys are gonna set some traditions with you and your loved ones. They're gonna last you a lifetime. I know they did for me. Hey guys, from my kitchen to yours, until next week, mwah, bon appetito.